Slobies, welcome back to another DIY. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make these really awesome bobble necklaces. I think they're absolutely pretty and they are so classic looking that you can wear them with everything. I don't know what it is about a bobble necklace that makes you feel like you are so classically chic, but it does that to you. This is actually a really easy tutorial. You can tackle it in like maybe an hour and we're gonna go ahead and just get started. Obviously you're going to need beads for this. I'm using these pearls that I found at a craft store. If you were to use different sized pearls, I think it gives it a much better effect. But you obviously can just use the same size as well. It still looks absolutely gorgeous. For this tutorial, I'm using these crystal beads. For these clear beads that I'm using, as pretty as they are, I felt like it was a little bit boring. So I wanted to dazzle it up a little bit by using these gold caps that I found at the craft store. And I really don't know what they're called. If you guys know, please let me know down below so I can use the correct terminology. They're just these little doily caps that you can just put on your beads and it totally changes it. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're going to turn these into little tiny charms. So the easiest way to do this is to get one of these head pins and to loop it through the bead. You're gonna go ahead and just chop off the excess part of the pen. And using a round nose pliers, just go ahead and create a loop. And that's pretty much it there. You're gonna have yourself a cute little charm that you can wear around those earrings or just as one little bead around your neck. You know, the possibility here is totally endless once you get this up and running. So you're gonna go ahead and just repeat that on your whole bag of beads. You're gonna have to make a ton of them. You're gonna go ahead and put them together. And to do that, you'll need a jump ring. And you're gonna need a jump ring that is kind of impossible to open. You know, one of those jump rings where you're holding your hands with two pliers, concentrating and shaking at the same time, trying to open it because it's so incredible hard to open. Highly recommend getting one of those. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one jump ring and I'm just going to open it up with my pliers. And on this jump ring, I'm going to add on three of the beads. Now for the second jump ring, I'm also going to open it, but I'm only going to add two beads. And then I loop that second jump ring to the first jump ring. Now on the third jump ring, I'm going to open it up and add on three more beads. And then I take that third jump ring and I add it to the second jump ring and I close that up. While you're doing this, you actually have two options. You can create a whole necklace completely out of bobble. I think that would look absolutely fabulous. Or you can be totally lazy like me and just stop at the seven inch or eight inch mark. And here what I did was I just cut out two chains to complete the necklace. And I attached the two sides of the bobble part of the necklace with jump rings to the two chains. And then I finish it off by using these toggle closures just because, yeah, lobster claws. Ain't nobody got time for that. That is pretty much it. That is your finished product as far as a bobble necklace goes. And yeah, that's how easy it is to make these really pretty necklaces. They're actually really great as gifts as well. So you can get a head start on that. If you're gonna try out this DIY, please send me a photo of the finished product with the hashtag S-L-O-A-B-N-D-I-Y. And for now, if you guys wanna say hi, just leave a comment down below. Be sure to support me by liking this video and subscribing to my channel and thank you guys so much for watching this DIY and remember to rock on slobies I'll catch you later bye 
to challenge myself to create something that represents the fashion of Hong Kong and my personal style. So I'm going to give myself two days and we are going to start right now. 